Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. And guess what time it is? It is time for me to take up another champion all the way up to rank 4. And um, this rank up, you know, I got the last materials thanks to the zone 25, no zone 9, second 9. <sighs> Room 25 in Curtain Run. Ah, it's all jumbled together. But either way, so currently I am sitting night neatly on 19 rank 4 6 star champions. So we can see uh, Dr. Doom, Silver Surfer, Hercules, Omega Sentinel, Gore, Guardian, Thor, Ragnarok, <laughs> Nick Fury, Warlock, Nimrod, Mr. Fantastic, Mephisto, King Pin, Archangel, Rinker, Human Torch, Mr. Negative, Kitty Pride, and Cosmic Ghost Rider. I'm very, very happy with vast majority of them. And uh, as always, we do need to kind of establish the goals of what four I'm ranking champions. Because realistically, you do not need a rank four champion to do act seven. You don't need a rank four champion to attend your pain or act eight or anything. Rank fours only really matter when other players are involved. So in this game currently, your rank force matter in three direct ways. Your prestige for alliance quest, and prestige is going to become wildly more important in very near future. You can take my word to it. So that is something to look at. Then it also matters in alliance war. Obviously, you do want to have every single extra attack and health point whilst you're dealing with opponent's defenders in order to minimize your chances of dying. You do want to have as beefy defenders as possible to maximize your opponent's chances of messing up and dying against your champions. And with a very similar principle, the third place where it matters is Balgrand. So, keeping that in mind, there is not much I can do in Prestige Department. I could seek 200 Valkyrie and that would help me slightly, but Valkyrie is still out of top 5 as a rank 4 6 star, therefore um, I'm not in a huge rush to make that step i would rather wait to try and get quicksilver and do that prestige rank up than infamous iron man and see where we we'll land at the very least at the moment that might change i might stand, still end up ranking up valkyrie for prestige in near future if it comes to it and hope it doesn't even though Val there's nothing wrong with valkyrie as a champion so you need to think about alliance war and alliance sorry, and Balgrounds. In Alliance War, at the moment, defensively, I'm sitting kind of fine in the sense that um, I do have full rank 4 defense, which is perfectly fine for this season. And, well, we're going to deal with the upcoming season when we get to it, but I should be fairly set for my defense with the new Unsteady Ground defensive tactic as well. So... Since it's not Alliance War defense, ideally I want to be bolstering up my Balgrounds defense and offense. So two-way champions are a priority, even though I am in near future thinking of doing like two or three rank ups in quick succession, just of the beefy boys like man things and things and Sasquatches just to bolster up my defense completely, because those typically are the defenders that, you know, give most trouble to the opponents. But realistically, I want something that can be used Alliance War on offense, and obviously is present in vast majority of my decks in Balgrounds. That was kind of like one of the things that we noticed with the Quick Me With Your Best Shot meta in Balgrounds, where, you know, a very significant portion of my rank, champ rank 4 champions just were not suitable to be used there, even though, let's say, Liquid Courage, Double Edge, Recoil, Unfriendly Champions could still be placed on defense very easily. A lot of my rank 4s are very incompatible with Liquid Courage Double Edge, or with that meta specifically. For instance, like Mr. Negative completely had to sit out that entire thing. I didn't use Dr. Doom in the last meta, or Silver Surfer, and a whole bunch of champions that I just kind of didn't add to my deck as well, because, you know, they do not cope with recall too well. So that is another kind of ideal signed argument that I want to um, proposition. I want the champion there and cap to be quite good with liquid courage double edge if need be and lastly there is at the moment a class disparity i have one class lagging behind which kind of was the deciding factor so i have th three science I have three skill well two but kind of three i have four cosmic champions two mutant 
four tech and three mystic. So it would be nice if I could kind of like even out the scales a little bit and that rank four, next rank four to be a mutant champion. Realistically, I did have my preferences and most of those prefer most of those kind of like ideas were leaning towards Tigra, Ghost, um, or one of the beefy defenders. But as I said, ideally I do want to take a look at mutants, because I only have two rank four mutants at the moment. So let's take a look at my mutant roster. And there's quite a lot of them that definitely could potentially go up all the way to rank four. Toad is definitely a candidate. Um, Toad can be run with Liquid Courage Double Edge. Without it, um, good offensively, defensively. Domino is a good candidate as well. Uh, Omega Red is a potential candidate because Omega Red actually is somewhat decent as a defender if need be situations with Liquid Courage Double Edge. He's kind of like a bit of a sneaky staller. But in this time, this case, this situation, I have landed on Bishop, who I believe is going to be my next rank 4 champion. Well, it's not that I believe it, that's what I have decided. <laughs> because Bishop has been present in vast majority of my deck builds throughout the different metas. There are obviously some nodes, some metas where Bishop is less effective as an attacker or a defender. But there is a couple of extremely strong arguments and strong points as to why Bishop is a good rank up, especially for me for Balagrounds. And the first point that I mentioned, obviously, he's a mutant, so he would kind of like balance out that roster, even though I do not think it is particularly important to have like equal or similar numbers of rank fours of each classes. I don't think that is, you know super decisive factor, but it's just like a neat kind of like satisfactory feeling. <laughs> um, on top of that, Bishop is definitely perfectly playable with Liquid Courage Double Edge because he can get rid of that bleed debuff extremely quickly and typically in a fight you only need like one or two level twos to finish it out. So you don't suffer too much from recall. You can still enable some sort of regeneration as well, even though it's not too potent. It can be somewhat helpful. So you can definitely use him with and without Liquid Courage Double Edge. Additionally, Bishop is, and pretty much forever will be, a somewhat problematic defender, unless opponent have very, you know, great specific counters. One of the coolest things that I love about Bishop on defense is that opponent's Nimrods <laughs> struggle. You can get the bishop down, but they will take a lot of damage doing so. Obviously now we have infamous Iron Man, a handful of other champions, but still. Bishop uh, is one of those champions where many of the typical mutant counters do not really quite work for. But here is the major point that enables me to press this rank of button and be quite confident that it is a good pick, it is a good choice. And the reason for that is because some of the most dominant Balgrounds champions at the moment, and all logic uh, dictates that it will also be so in foreseeable future, are super annoying skill champions. Are champions like Kingpin. Kingpin is pretty much the only champion so far that has been absolutely amazing in every single meta. Then obviously Mole Man is a frequent champion that we can see, and then the opponents like to use Hitmonkey. Sunspot, for instance, is somebody, again, that is getting quite popular. And uh, then we're going to uh, have to consider Massacre more, I think, in the near future. In general, we're getting more and more champions that deal energy damage. Obviously, that is something that Bishop absolutely loves. And uh, for that reason, I do believe that he will always kind of remain a useful uh, champion in Battlegrounds. That is because there's pretty much nobody, hardly any champion better to deal with Kingpin on defense, for instance. And Kingpin is, whether we like it or not, one of the kind of like most biggest presences in Battlegrounds. And again, there's, you know, Mole Man, and there is quite a large amount of different champions that he works extremely well against. Also, just uh, 
bishop quote unquote trapping might not be as popular at the moment but it is something that is definitely achievable and it is de definitely something that does happen. For instance, if opponents only left with champions that do energy damage, inflict bleed or some sort of incinerates or shock, well, well, then they're just basically screwed. So you can kind of achieve the similar thing that you can frequently do with Human Torch where opponents just kind of have no option to use against Bishop and then they kind of end up nuking themselves. So all of those things considered, also, the fact that I do personally believe that Bishop is underrated as a champion. That is who my 20th rank 4 is. And now we can take a look at <laughs> my little baby rank 4s. And Bishop is here quite nicely. <laughs> quite happy with that. It's one of those kind of giddy moments. And I definitely do think he kind of fits in with my, my style, with strategies, choices that I make. And uh, just having this guy at rank 4 will, you know, enable me to be ever so more confident about the guy. Obviously, as with any champion, there are very good counters to Bishop. And this is one of the things that always annoys me when I kind of highlight some champion being good on defense, you know. Um, and then it's like, oh, Bishop, oh, my CGR is going to nuke it down. Or Kitty Pride takes Bishop, no problem. Or Warlock destroys Bishop. So like, yeah, of course they do. Every champion can be destroyed, nuked by, you know, some other champion. The question is how easy it is, how long it takes, and how many great counters typically opponents have, and whether, you know, you have offensive use for that champion, so on and so forth. And Bishop also, to my pleasure, is one of those champions where fight can always go wrong. Because typically when you do go up against Bishop, in vast majority of the cases, um, if you use suboptimal counter, pretty much everybody's banking on the idea or the fact that Bishop will not, you know, Bishop should not throw his level 1. You always try to push him to level 2, which again can pose a danger in itself if you do not have that Bishop away perfectly down. But, you know, that is typically pretty much the case at every top tier player at the moment where level 2 doesn't catch people all that often even though it still happens but still if bishop randomly happens to decide to throw level one in vast majority of the matchups that significantly extends the fight time which is again something that's extremely important in Balgrass. so yeah i'm quite happy with this rank up and here we are that is my account with my 20 rank fours at the moment exactly nice neat number and 105 rank 36 dash um, obviously the smartest thing would have been to wait till we see the nodes for the upcoming uh, season but at the same time I, I do think that bishop is a kind of fairly stable pick as is and um, we will get obviously more rank for options in the very near future cyber weekend i believe is only 10 days away from now and um uh, there is another reason why I wanted to rank up Bishop right now, because actually I got Bishop assigned for Alliance War in the current war. So I'm going to go and hop into war and clear my fights in a short moment. But meanwhile, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about my 20th rank 4, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about 